Hello y'all. Welcome to part two of my fascist Denmark playthrough in the Hearts of Iron 4 mod, Legacy of the North Sea. In part one, we had the fascist come to power in Denmark, and now Denmark is the North Sea Empire. Yeah, the North Sea Empire, led by the DNSAP, the Danish National Social Work Socialist Workers Party, I believe. Danish, yeah, you get the idea. And I hope you do anyway. Also, we declared war on Sweden, so we're fighting the Northern Lights. We also declared war on Finland, so that's going on. We joined the Axis, and that is sort of going well. We're not really involved in this with this war with the Czech Entente, but we're just focusing on the Swedes. And right now we have Army 2 down in Africa. It's led by a bunch of, it's a bunch of garrison divisions, essentially. Let's move them into Finland and try to push more into Finland and take Helsinki, Helsinki please, Helsinki. Capture that for Denmark just so we can get a better position and just capitulate the Finns. Ultimately, we have surrounded, we have surrounded, we managed to surround Stockholm, although it's not going too well for us because of supply issues. And speaking of supply issues, let's build some rail railways, build this, build all this, please build it up. Build up everything near the front lines, bottleneck, bottlenecks, sort them out, please. Improve every little thing we can. Get all this built up here, please. There we go, we have some surrounded Swedish divisions in this port. Get rid of them, just surround them. They're stuck on the coast. We just can't do nothing with them. They have no supply though. You'd think we'd be able to overwhelm them at this point, but we haven't. National focus, not set. Let's get more manpower, honestly. I mean, service by requirement. Get that conscription wall enacted. Doctrines available, go to integrated support for our support companies. So, I mean, our support companies can get more soft attack and organization. That's what we need. Research slot available, get infantry equipment two. Also get, say, concentrated industry three. No national focus set. Let's do, at this point, do share tech in the focus tree. Low manpower, we'll deal with it shortly. I really hope these garrison troops can get up there soon enough. They're taking forever. They gotta make their way around the coast of Africa. Why do Swedes, oh wait, no, the Swedes have military access to France, I believe. And the French are invading Italy. That's a problem for the Italians. Although the, although the French are not fighting the, they're not fighting the, are my units surrounded now? That's awkward. Get out of there. Actually, no, they're not surrounded. Just very awkward. Make a new front line, please. Army six, just this is a bunch of expedi expeditionary troops from the Germans. So just form a new front line with the borders we have in Norway and get ready to advance. We also got to get some troops in Finland. We don't need to lose that port. Don't lose the port. Our units have to get there. They got to make their way all around Western. Well, they got to make their way around, yeah, Western Africa and get into position. And we have some problems with, I don't know, this is just annoying. They just won't leave. The Swedes will not abandon the... They won't abandon their capital. They'll still fight for it, which is impressive, but it's just annoying for us because we're trying to drive them out of their capital. It's not going so well, frankly. And Finland, stop going on to counterattack, please. Give some time for my divisions to arrive, for crying out loud. We need more planes deployed, more close air support, please. We don't have enough close air support figures. Germany wants us to join a war. There are factions justifying war goals. I mean, faction members, the German Empire is justifying on Luxembourg. Okay, it doesn't look like we'll beat the Czech Entente. It's not looking too great. Honestly, I will say that. Can you please get the 5th Army? The 2nd Army needs to get to Finland. Get there faster. You guys are taking so long to get transported up there. Just get into that area. Hold it down so we don't lose our positions. Push forward where we can with Army... What is this? Army 6? And try to drive back this Swedish incursion in Norway. Yeah, we just have some very bad issues with Finland, our puppet, who went independent. The United States of Finland broke off from us when they, when Denmark went fascist, so we had some expeditionary forces from them. We, well, we requested their divisions, and now they're stuck in Denmark, I mean, Sweden, because they did not want to, how to say, they, they did not want to, I don't know, they just didn't want to, they didn't, they don't want to return. The expeditionaries had to go home, is what I'm saying. 
and it's just a, we have 15 divisions near Stockholm. Nobody can actually use doctrines available. Go with regimental combat teams. Do we still have that port under control? Good. Start pushing with Army Two when possible. I'm not joining any additional wars while we're, while we're fighting like this. Upgrade this though, please. Connect this line here or no? Can we do this? Yes, please. Connect this also. Build that up. Just build up railways where we need them. Build everything up. Connect this railway up here. Build this place. Make sure we have the best rails we can get. I mean the most capable rail network possible so our units don't suffer from attrition. And the Chechens... Oh, the Russia is having a civil war. So the Soviet Union is fighting the provisional government of... The provisional Russian government. Luxembourg joined the Czech Entente, whatever. Germany, you're on your own with that. I'm not helping you out there. We just got to defeat the Finns right now. Finland has to go down. Take Helsinki. Capture it. We have so many divisions here. We need to win. I refuse to lose. The Swedes have so many units in the north. Can we just take Stockholm? Capture the capital. Get it done. We have so many divisions here. They just We're hitting them constantly. They should have no time to just get prepared for defenses anymore. We need more fuel also. We're running out of oil. Get us more fuel. USA, help us out here. Give us more fuel. Tons of it. it. We just use so much for our navy. That's the core issue there. And how we lost... I mean, we just can't advance in the north. These guys are suffering from, I think, supply issues. Meanwhile, no national focus set. Let's get Elite Education Academy done. Helsinki is not surround... Well, it's cut off from the rest of Finland. Get some divisions here. Moved over to this line and secure the remaining parts of Finland, ultimately, or attempt to. Anyway, the Shenzhen state has been puppeted. Luxembourg has capitulated. Okay. And, like, half of the, Dan the Swedish army is stuck here in those two provinces. Meanwhile, we're losing ground more in Norway. Very annoying. Ultimately. Very irritating. We just need the... We just need the... We need the forces of... The forces of... Sweden to just lose their capital. Also get a new infantry division created so we can just have more troops. Let's look at our Azerbaijan Democratic Republic declared one provisional Russian government. Whatever. We need to take Stockholm. How's construction going? We need more railways, don't we? I believe we do. Possibly. Build this up here. Build this up. We're just trying to improve the infrastructure as much as, much as we can. United States declared one to Mexican Junta. Whatever, build this up though. Can we connect these lines, please? Yes, get that done. When possible, cause infrastructure is important. Helsinki is surrounded. Good. The German Reich formalizes the anti comintern pact. These Finnish divisions are stuck in place. What is Finland at now? Where's their. Oh, it's up here, Marmans. Do they always control that? I guess they do in this timeline. Okay, we took Stockholm. That is a miracle. What is left? This place here? Okay, so take all of Army Group 2, well, Army Group 1, and focus on defeating the Swedes. Well, Army Armies 1 and, I think, 6? I have no idea. Armies, yeah, Armies 1 and 6 will focus on defeating the, what's left of the Swedish forces. We gotta take Luclia Lulia here. It's being held by the Baltic Assembly. We need to improve the infrastructure still, so keep working on that. Improve all this, please, when possible. Work on this front line. Connect this together. Oh boy, the railroads are functioning. The fall of Rome has occurred. The Itali Italians are losing to the French pretty hard. It is bad. They're also losing to Yugoslavia. I mean, the Axis is not having a fun time. It's a good thing we stayed out of that war, didn't we? Let's move all of our planes from southern Sweden up to the north. Bring them up here. And Georgia is now fighting the Russians. Okay, then, that's happening. Move these planes here, though. Get them set up and prepare to do battle. we got to take this city. Move forward for the Germans. Take that city. Take this place. Advance forward. Get closer to it. Drive back the enemy. Drive back Finland. Drive back Sweden. We are a long way to go from defeating the Swedes. Well, we're pretty close, actually. What am I saying? We just got to defeat them here in this city, and it will be over. I would think. We just gotta keep pressuring it somehow. And the war's over. And we have... Let's take everything we need from the north. The Nordics. All these... I mean, all these places here. Capture all this. 
all the finished states, get all this done in turn, and I am using player-led peace conferences well, it's just because player-led peace conferences is just nifty to have. What do we do with the Baltic Assembly? I don't know. Take all this, though, in turn. What do we do with Greece? Puppet. I mean, just pass constantly until we can just puppet everything as we need to. Just pass constantly. Puppet Greece, though. Puppet Greece. And that's done. Also, puppet Romania. And this will get some pressure off of the Italians and the Germans, I imagine. Puppet the Baltic Assembly. What else do we need here? Take all states from Sweden. We're taking their territory in Swedish Africa here also in Togo and Dahomey, I believe, in turn. So that's Swedish West Africa now under the control of Denmark, or the North Sea Empire, more accurately. And what do we do with the... I don't know what we do with them. Take all states from Finland. Good. I don't know what to do with the Baltic Assembly. Let's just take all states for now than just, I don't know, take all states. Peace conference is over, victory over Sweden, great, that's all done. So let's now do this decision here, we proclaim Nordic unity. And at this point we are the North Sea Empire, but with an iron cross. And is this a core? No, let's just make the Baltic Assembly its own thing. Yeah, let's do that. So Baltic Assembly, release nation, release as a puppet. Do this now. Congratulations, you exist again. What do we do at this point? We have tons of manpower. We could help the Germans with their wars with the French and then fight the German, we'll fight the UK, then fight Finland, possibly. I don't know, would it be worth it? This war goal does not last forever. I gotta think of my, choose my options carefully here. But let's move our armies around. First, though, let's get this garrison force and have them guard ports. We don't need them to really be offensive anymore. Just guard our ports in our country. Every port belonging to Denmark, please defend it. Every core territory, at the very least, hold on to it. Get that done. So there we go, defend all these ports. Now, let's also get our navy and move that out of the, take that out of the Baltic and just put it back in port. Do that, please. And unification of the Nordics. The Danish government has done it. The, uni uni the unified North will stand strong. And we should have plenty of manpower at this point. So available war goal reserve. The expeditionaries we got from the Germans are going to go home. What can we do though? We need to expand our army rapidly. Also, yeah, we're sort of Kalmar Union. We'll get cores and everything. We already have cores and everything to begin with. It doesn't matter. We have the North Sea Empire at this point. Why would we need cores? We're doing fine. And I think we might as well go help the help the Italians and the Germans. It looks like they need assistance badly, so I'm considering my options there. Get more guns though, more of this, more planes, definitely more close air support, we need that for certain. Certain. Get some trucks, also close air interwar carrier fighters, we need trucks. There we go, trucks. And free military factories, what can we do? Get some trains, Free dockyards, put them on destroyers, I guess. Light cruisers also work. And let's get rid of these missions here. Get the Navy to just head into port. And we'll merge that naval force together. So now we've got to get ready for the next phase of war. We have not gotten this. we got to get a military command. Infantry, Wilhelm, William Wayne Pryor. The United States demands transfer of American holdings. Sure. Whatever. No. Actually, yes. Take it. It's not worth the war. United Kingdom disavows appeasement. So we gave up our territories in the Americas to the Americans. Which, I mean, we gave up Puerto Rico to the USA. And it wasn't worth the risk there since we're going to go help the Germans in their war. Since we need to have... We need to make sure we can just defeat the... Defeat Czechoslovakia and the Czech Entente just to help our allies out. So let's assemble our forces and move down to the... Set ourselves up to move on the Czechs in Prague. So here we are. Insufficient resources, get ourselves more aluminum. At the very least, gaining all these territories in Scandinavia made up for the fact that we lost our, our overseas territories in the Americas. Like, we lost the Danish West Indies, but 
It is what it is. Germany wants help. Do we give it to them? Maybe. I'm considering it. Yeah, I'll consider it. Now we need more infantry, though. More infantry. What do these guys have? 20 with? These guys are not that good. They're, I think, garrison? Or no, these guys are really good, I think. Whatever, let's get these units here to use more artillery. 21 combat with. That will do just fine. In the research tree, I mean, in the focus tree, let's do an invite. Finish military staff. Good. And that is going to be a really good national spirit. That is absurd. Okay, whatever, let's take it. Get our units in a position, though, to move in to help the Germans and move in our Air Force also. The Germans want their expeditionaries back. Good, that's 20 divisions for them. They needed those units for sure. And do we help the Germans here? The Kivian Jadidist Republic declared war on someone. We have so many units down here at this point. We could get ready for an advance into enemy territory. We have so many factories also. Let's start building some military factories in, our, in Denmark just to have them. And do we help the Germans? I'm considering it. I mean, might as well. Yeah, let's do it. At least defeat the Czech Anton. I don't know if we'll get back to Finland. We'll at least help the help the help Hungary here. So we join the war, advance forward when possible, get it done. This is, may not go well. We'll see. This is being executed in a balanced manner. Whatever. So we're pushing the pushing the lines of the Czechs now with the Danish military. Let's call in our Air Force, move them down here also, and just have them set up and try to do something. Are we fighting France? Yes, we are. We're going to have to be worried about naval invasions. That will be a concern. Get some planes here, close air support, focus on the Czechs for now. Then we'll turn to France, then maybe later to UK if I continue. If I want to play that long, I don't know. I know for a fact taking over the UK will be crucial for fighting the... United States of Finland, who still has their units stuck in my country, I believe. Or they don't, never mind. We have more steel, though. Get more artillery manufactured. Because, I mean, get more more artillery produced overall. Because, I mean, our divisions will use a lot of it. We have plenty of manpower. We're doing fine there. To Georgia. Well, Georgia got annexed. Crimea is still alive, though. We're pushing pretty hard on Prague. And now we're just moving forward. Get more fighters. Also... What is this national spirit? Look at this. This is so good. Finnish general staff. That is really good for a national spirit. Division against major powers plus 15%. Division attack on core territory. Division defense on core territory. That is great. Finnish general staff. That national spirit. But now in the focus tree, let's do... What can we do? Do this focus here. Scandinavia. Invite Swedish military staff. Do all that. And have some buffs for us. We're pushing into... Czechoslovakia now with the Danish military, and we are overwhelming their lines. They are struggling here, evidently. It is rough for them. It is rough. And Prague is surrounded. Czechoslovakia is crumbling. The Ponte incident has occurred. What is Romania doing? They are not doing much at all. They don't have any troops, neither does the Greeks. But could we call them into the war? I mean, they're going to be involved in the fighting, so call them into the war. They are going to give the Italians an opportunity to defend themselves in the south against a very divided Yugoslavia. Interesting. Move there. Can we defeat Prague? Defeat, I mean, defeat the Czechs. Modify Officer Corps. Get a theorist. Go with Naval Theorist, or that may not have been the best call. Whatever. Get Bold Attack, Spirit of the Academy, Spirit of the Army. Let's go with Professional, No Proper Heritage, State Service to Military, State Service to Military. Let's go with that. Keep pushing forward. Swedish military staff is nearly done. This will give us a national spirit called Scandinavian General Staff, which will give us higher division organization, maximum command power increase, daily command power gain multiplier plus 10%, and a faster mobilization speed. And that is, we're getting some pretty good buffs for the North Sea Empire at this point. So let's keep driving forward, get this researched here, basic engine. Also, what else? Can we start atomic research? I say yes, get it started. Might not be the best call now, but we'll see. Can we get more close air support also, please? I mean, we already have some fighters being made. Get some more support equipment also. Kyrgyzstan declared war in the Soviet Union. And the, how to say, the second Russian civil war has a lot of factions that just come and go. All these countries that break away, that pop up, they just don't last either. That's the problem. They just die half the time. Like, Crimea now is struggling to survive. Greek exile leader offers service. The war's not yet over. I mean, they're not even defeat. Why? Whatever. Okay, now, let's 
do the focus here. Let's do Proud Nation. And also we'll do, what can we do here? We'll get Colonial Recruitment done, expand former Swedish Colonial Holdings. Did we lose that part of Denmark? We lost it to France, yeah, I figured. France took it over. I may take over all of France's colonial possessions in Africa, possibly. Danish Algeria. What does that sound like? That sounds interesting, doesn't it? Can we keep advancing? We need to redo our front line, it seems. We have about... We definitely got to expand our military at this point, but let's advance forward here. Finish off Sweden... No, finish off the Czech... Czechoslovaks. Advance here. Brought the Slava. Just capitulate them. That's all we got to do. Advance along here. Take Budapest. So go forward. Drive forward for Denmark. Get more divisions deployed. Several new divisions deployed. Also start getting some cavalry. Get these guys here to have some infantry. I think I don't know what a binary division is. What do they do? They're like an elite unit, apparently? I don't know what they do. I have not the slightest idea. Whatever. Get them some more units, though. Regardless. What is our most... Okay. Nine divisions or that. What are these guys here? Really big. Let's get them 41 with. Or no. They'll be fine. 42. Maybe 42. I don't know. Whatever, just keep them as they are. And Armenia is doing something. They declared war in the Soviet Union. I think Czechoslovakia has capitulated. Can we advance into... We might be able to advance into France. Can we pull it off? I don't know. The Danish advance into France. That would be something else. Get a cavalry brigade, though. Get this worked out. Start getting some cavalry divisions. Good. Outdated equipment and production. We need to fix that. Get more advanced guns now. We have plenty of steel. Get some rubber, though. Trade rubber with the Dutch East Indies. Never mind. Get it from British Malaya or Inter Siam. No, that's not enough. United Kingdom will have to do for rubber. Let's move the army of Denmark now. Start moving into French territory. We'll advance into France. And that will be done with 45 Danish divisions. The Danish advance on Paris will begin soon enough. And now our units are being set up. They gotta get ready to go. Hopefully the German, I mean the French won't move too many units to stop us. I'm hoping they don't. They have like nine divisions here. Are we fighting the UK or? No, they're expeditionaries. Whatever, just advance. The UK volunteers or whatever, they're attacking our lines, but it's not gonna stop us. We're trying to overwhelm the French where we can. Can we get our air force over here, please? The Danish air force needs to operate here. So move to Stuttgart, south of Stuttgart, go to Brandenburg. Well, they're in Brandenburg already. Move south of Brandenburg, get more close air support. Set up here and get ready to advance. Just move into western France and break the French army, if possible. Move to this airbase here in western Germany. Good. Focus on the French skies. Can we just advance through their lines, please? We may need to invade Belgium. That is a very likely possibility go around the low countries to break through the French lines. I don't know. Germany, do you want to do that? Please have some good ideas. Is there any divisions down here we can use? Oh, there are troops from the, from the Romanians. Okay, Romania, you're just going to be defensive. We have all these general personnel now. Whatever, be defensive here. Defend, just hold Romania. Here's some more troops. Give them over to Army 3. Continue to push into France. It's not going too well. It's definitely not going anywhere. That is bad. I think Italy is down. You had to capitulate it. Greece is just a distraction. Ultimately, the Germans are having to carry this war. We may have to invade through... Invade through Belgium. I'm thinking we're going to do that. Could this be a mistake? I don't know. Possibly. Justify on Belgium, though. Or no. I don't think it's worth it. Okay, let's just focus on... I don't know. The Germans seem to be more aggressive. Ostwall is being done, though. Please move into attack Belgium or the Netherlands, please. You can't go around the front lines if you're doing this. What is the Brit What are the British doing? They're not involved in any wars, but they're guaranteeing a lot of countries. They're guaranteeing Poland, even. What is Poland doing? They exist. They have a king. That's about it. I guess we'll fight in the Balkans, then. This is clearly not going anywhere. We're not making much progress where we want to. Just defeat Czechoslovakia, then, and restore Hungary. I mean, defeat Yugoslavia, or a very decentralized Yugoslavia. Just do that. Move away from the front line here. We just can't break through it. The front line is just too many units. I just need a new avenue of attack there. We can't get it. Maybe attack through southern France. 
but right, not right now. Here are these planes here, though. Could we, in fact, focus on restoring Italy? We could. I'm thinking we could attempt it. Germany is now defending. Yeah, let's move into... I got an idea. Soviet Union defeated Armenia, I believe. Let's move into Italy. Just focus on putting Italy back into the game. So just move in here. Maybe get to get to the capital. More divisions are ready. Oh, this is Romanian troops. United Kingdom declared war in Iraq. What are they going to do? Are they in a faction? I don't believe they are. But that's happening. They are in a war. So could we attack Belgium with all this going on? Possibly. I don't know. The Germans did make some progress. It took Metz for crying out loud. Could we keep attacking? They have no divisions there. Yeah, they have no volunteers even. Okay, turn back around. This is all very confusing. Turn back around and attack through the French defenses at the Maginot line. Maginot line. Just overwhelm them. Bring in more planes. Focus here. Put the entire air force in Germany and get some more planes put together. Proud nation is done. We need more fighters in the sky. More close air support also. Just bring down the entire air force of Denmark into what northern France. We need to do it. We're not using fuel for air or anything. I mean for ships or anything, so that's good. We're using... Oh, the Netherlands is being attacked by the UK. Wow. So, now they're fighting Iran. That is absurd, but whatever. In our focus tree, let's now do... What can we do here? Complete the focus. Let's complete the focus. Fortify colonial holdings. What are the British doing? They're like getting so many enemies. Whatever. Advance when possible, please. Start the advance. Break through the lines. Get through here. What are you doing? Smash. Just smash through them. Go through, go through Metz. Go through Metz. Overwhelm them. Just Danish forces move out. Do we have bicycle infantry, I wonder? I don't think we do. Whatever. Just go through here. I was just thinking of bicycle infantry for some reason. Modify officer corps. Military high command. Let's go with the... Let's go with, I don't know, army logistics. Sure. Do that. Keep moving into France, though. We need to rapidly advance forward. Pull in more divisions, please. For... Denmark, more cavalry are going to be deployed. Move all these units here to Army 3. And I hope to establish a new army soon enough for Denmark. Just keep the French pinned down and move toward Paris. If we can just get a big enough front line, this will be the way we beat the French and the Czech Entente. What is, who's the major leader here of the faction? It is just France at this point. We need to beat France down hard. I'm taking all their colonial possessions too. We're going to have Danish West Africa be mega Danish West Africa. So keep advancing here, take Troyes, take all these places, expand the front line. The Germans, the French are just suffering. Take Paris. The Danish march into Paris. It's done to fall of Paris. German troops enter Paris. Those are not Germans. They're Danes. Danes, I say. Whatever. Let's take Calais. That's the next capital. Now starts fanning out and go for Brest, go for Bordeaux, and go for Marcel at some point. They're just overextended, maybe, fighting against the fighting against the... Maybe they're overextended fighting against the Italian... Well, the Germans at this point. The Italians are done for. Just keep pushing, though. Take all these provinces. The Germans are going to have to help us a little bit. We have player-led peace conferences on here anyway for this playthrough, so everything we do is going to benefit us ultimately. We're going to make mainland France a puppet, probably. Keep moving forward. Take more Paris. More of everything in general. The enemy front line should be collapsing more and more. Get some Modify Officer Corps. Get the artillery upgrade or no. Modify government, though. Go up to war economy. We've been using civilian economy this entire time. It's ridiculous. Get more military factories put together. This time in Sweden. And parts. Yeah, there we go. And the North Sea Empire is crashing hard into Denmark. Just like we're making the Normans proud, aren't we? So let's set up a front line here and push all the way down into southern France and central France. And this should hopefully overwhelm them. We gotta take the remainder of these ports here to ensure, take Dunkirk, all these places here to ensure the French don't try to send out any more divisions. Well, make sure they don't send any more units through ports. France is being like that. Was there war? Was there. That is brutal. Was there stability that bad? I guess it was. Whatever. Puppet Yugoslavia, I mean, Puppet, puppet Serbia. Get that done. We have so much war score. Puppet Czechoslovakia. Puppet, puppet, puppet. So what's left here? Luxembourg, puppet, France. This is going to be fun. Take all this land. All this is going to the mighty Denmark, the North Sea Empire, more accurately. 
And I guess after this, we're going to invade the UK. That seems to be in the cards, probably. So keep taking this land, take all of this, and take all of that. There we go. And now all we got to do really is make the what's left of France into a puppet of the North Sea Empire. Before we can make the French in Europe our subjects, we need to carve up their colonial empire a little bit more. So let's take, say, all this land in the Middle East, take it for the North Sea Empire, take all of this in Syria, it's going to belong to Denmark now, Lebanon, what else, Djibouti, take Djibouti, Madagascar, we took all that, I believe we took Madagascar, what else, Indochina, all this is going to belong to us now, what is left? Take all this, also French China, that place to have there. In turn, now, what's left? Let me think here, we have Tahiti. Where's Tahiti at? Whatever, satellite Tahiti, cause I can't find it. I think it's Pacific Island? Not entirely sure. Whatever, what's left? Take this here, some islands are remaining, I believe, so turn that off for now. I'm just looking around for any territory I may have missed. Take St. Pierre. Or no, they control that. That's Oh, we gave that up to the Americans. Yeah, we control that at the start, didn't we, in, our, in the start of our playthrough. Okay, whatever. Satellite Tahiti, then. Make that a puppet. Now in turn. So pass constantly just to get enough score to make France itself a puppet. And that's done. So in turn now. We're finished with this peace conference. So let's Hit done. And at this point, let's go to the, well, the United States of Vinland here. Well, actually, no. I don't know what to do. We may need to just buy some time right now as we just admire, admire the more powerful North Sea Empire, how to say. I mean, we also still have to defeat all these countries in Yugoslavia, so we may spend some time just finishing off all these countries, I guess. On a perhaps unrelated note, we could fight Finland. Finland and the British. Because if we attack them, they'll probably join allies. And the British are busy at this time. So I'm thinking, since they're busy with so many wars, we could potentially attack. So, let's get our army here. Where do we go? No ships there. No enemy vessels. Where's the British Navy? They're not here, it looks like. Whatever, let's go to our focus tree. Actually, no, we control this. We could actually do it, I think. We could attack the British while they're not expecting it, since they're guaranteeing the... They are guaranteeing the forces of... They're guaranteeing... What am I trying to say here? They're guaranteeing Finland. We could attack from Stornoway and just move in from there, and then move even more inland to Scotland. So what am I saying? Scotland. Take Scotland. So let's get the army set up here. And where's the port? Is this a port, technically? Okay, Ivor Bourne is a port. And let's set up for an advance from that position, moving to Scotland with Army 1. Meanwhile, Army 3, you are to attack from the North Sea. Maybe? Can we do that? North Sea sounds ideal for us. I mean, that's what the Vikings did. It worked for them, I think. So let's go here, set up at this port. In Norway, or no, that's not the right port. Set up here, and just get the Danish military ready for an incursion into, well, into the, into the UK. We gotta invade Britannia. Britain must fall to the North Sea Empire. Here's some Lindleys from Nation Francois. Thank you. And so let's get the navy together. We have a very, our navy cannot risk being destroyed so much so let's go ahead and merge these forces merge the navy now now i hope this works and doesn't crash and burn so let's get the navy moved here i'm really hoping the british will be called off guard so the navy is moving into position the first army is moving into position let's go ahead and have the navy split up again actually why did i combine them in the first place whatever patrol the eastern north sea also patrol the North Sea. Why is there an Eastern North Sea and just not one big North Sea? Whatever. Patrol this, though, and let's get set up with a naval invasion order for Hull as well as Newcastle. 
and Brasythe there. What's the easiest to take, I wonder? I don't know, we'll find out as we go along. So four divisions, actually no, let's give it three divisions each. Three divisions per port, and we'll see what happens as we advance into England, or try to anyway. Well, advance into Scotland and England. Get these divisions set up, good. And once the naval invasion orders are ready, we will commence the war. And we'll also call in all of our all of our allies. I imagine the Axis will become a little bit more crowded once this war declaration occurs, because yeah, they probably won't end. All of the countries the British are fighting will want to join Axis, and we'll just leave the Germans and the Italians with the with the Sarajevo here. Well, Bosnia and whoever is left in Yugoslavia and the Balkans. Italy is going to have to take some time to recover. They have no divisions now, I think. And they're... Yeah, I don't think they have any divisions at all. They have 32, actually. It could be worse for them. And we have some military factories. Serbia joined the Axis. Were they, a, were they a puppet or no? I thought we had them as a puppet. Whatever. We have some more military factories. So tons of military factories. Make more close air support. I mean, we control so much of... France is overseas territory, so maybe that makes a difference. I'm not sure. Get some more... Get a little bit of this here, though. This is aluminum. Get this aluminum. Let's take it. Get all the aluminum we need. We have tons of military factories. Serbia has capitulated. Get more trucks. Get more everything. Get more guns. Get tons of more guns. There we go. Ukraine declared war on the Soviet Union. I thought so the Ukraine popped up before. Did it just... Do countries just appear in the war as they go along? I don't know. I mean, the Soviet Union... I'm not... I'm confused. Whatever. Let's get ready for the naval invasion now. Are these guys prepared? They have no units assigned to an order, apparently. Great, I made a mistake. Infantry. We need three of you doing something that's not involving an order. So these three guys here, take them and put them on a naval invasion order for Hull, down in Northumbria, well, Yorkshire, yeah, Yorkshire, that will work, that will take seven days, get some support equipment from Serbia, thank you, Serbia, and let's declare war on Finland now, will be a good idea, we'll see, are these units ready? They are, yes, so, this is either going to be a great idea, or crash and burn horribly, but let's get more divisions deployed, we need more troops for Denmark, get some more cavalry, Get all the cavalry brigades we'll ever need. We need more mountaineers also. That's not going to work. That's too many mountaineers. Those mountaineers have too many brigades. Well, too many battalions already. But get these infantry together. Create a new army. We'll get these infantry here also. Create a new army. We'll just have them advance with Berger. Berger Erickson will lead the force here when he's ready to do so for Army Group 1. So let's declare war on Finland and see what the British do. And can we do it? Oh no, we can't do it. It doesn't matter at this point. Just justify on the UK then. It isn't going to matter too much. 25 days. It's all good. The UK won't be ready for this, I would think. They are not defending too well. Kosovo has capitulated. And I'm really hoping... Oh great. Pass. So much passing to do. Player-led peace conferences here. So puppet Croatia. Puppet Kosovo. Kosovo. Bochdavina, what else? Transylvania, Puppet, Macedonia, Puppet. Is there two? Okay, never mind. Montenegro, Puppet, Slovenia, Puppet. Who's left? Oh, it's Bosnia. In turn, pass, 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 pass. Just pass constantly. And Puppet Bosnia. So we're done, or no? Actually, yes, hit done. Or Satellite Herzegovina. We'll do that. I think that's a good idea satellite them. Who's left in the war, even? Whatever. So, done. And now that's all over with. There's so many empire, well, so many countries at this point. Are these guys independent? No, that's Legionary Transylvania. Here's all, all of the North Sea's empire subjects now. All the different flags. A lot of countries in the Balkans. Who is the Ceremimian Empire? The empire? Who are they? That's Bur Bosnia, Herzegovina, Cooperative, New Duchy of Saint... Sava, where's the Semian, Semian Empire? Where are they at? Seriously, though, where are they? Dardania, Greater Macedonia. Oh, they're right here, I think. The Semian, what are they even? I don't know. I don't know what that is. 
I don't know what that is. I really don't. So let's get these divisions here from Romania. Combine them with Army 5. I guess that will work for now. More military factories are available. We need more steel or some kind of... We need more... Get all the... What is this here? This is aluminum. We need aluminum. Get it from our ally. I mean, our subject. Thank you, France. Don't worry about trade with the UK. I mean, the USA anymore. We're done. Get all of it from our subjects. Now, free military factories. Work more on gun production. Upgrade everything. And I don't think the, the UK will be ready for the war coming their way. But we'll see. We will definitely see. And is the war ready in general? Can we do this? Fritz Clausen is angered by Brit British posturing. Can we declare war on you, please? I want to get this over with so that we can expand into the into well the USA well into North America again. Do we have any? What does the USA have? They have in terms of soldiers, 12 to 60. The United States of Finland has 12, 55 to 79. That's a fair amount of divisions for both of them. Both of them, I say. I may go after both the USA and Finland just to get back that territory we gave up to the Americans earlier, possibly, maybe. But let's go ahead now and what can we do the republic of uzbekistan declared war on the soviet union okay is this war declaration ready can we we justify we're done for east anglia the north sea empire attacks call all allies to war and the entire axis is going to fight the allies so hit enter so yeah go through that and here we go the danish advance is beginning this is going to be a brutal war i'm thinking or the naval invasions already stopped and somebody join the Axis? Who joined the Axis? Different countries are joining the Axis now, though. Who joined? The Iran joined, okay. Germany wants to join or something. They're doing something. Keep advancing in Scotland. Take the Highlands. What are you guys doing? You're not advancing the right way. Move down to a port. You can move there, too. Take Scapa Flow. I don't care. But just take more than what you're going after. Like, seriously. The Navy is having problems deploying. Iraq, Iraq, join the Axis, okay. And we called in all of our allies, so I'm thinking it's going to be pretty, pretty rough for the UK now. We're probably also going to take over all of the British possessions in Africa, I'm thinking. Besides that, what is Portugal doing? The Greater Portugal, I think they had a, they sorted out, they had a civil war. I believe they sorted it out, though. Naval invasion can take place. Our Navy's gone. It's simply deleted. Look at this. Battleship's gone. Okay, abandon. Abandon that plan that was supposed to have us try and land with a bunch of ships and such. Okay, just move in the entire Third Army via this port here and try to flood into Scotland to get to London. This is not working. Through the Isles we go. Yeah, our Navy is gone. It is deleted. Our allies are going to have to do work for us at this point. Yeah, our Navy is just... We're retreating. We're done. We're done. Retreat. Retreat. I don't want to have my Navy destroyed anymore. Fall back. The ships, that was too brutal. The Royal Navy scares me. Advance, though. we got to overwhelm the... Overwhelm the... Overwhelm the... Scots and the British here. Keep moving in more troops. Oh, my goodness. They're going to get cut off, aren't they? Yes, they are. What are you guys doing? Move. Get back into more positions. Okay, take these units here. Don't lose a port, please. Move over here. Move positions. Move positions. Move positions. You, move back. Take the port. Please capture a port just so we can land with more units. Please, get some more units here. Pin them down. Don't let them try and take Rosalith or whatever. Hold the port down while our units move in. Military access request from the Netherlands. Sure, they want to move units through our territory. Fine with me. Take all these provinces here. Prepare to move the entire army group down south. Encircle these troops. Move south. Get to wherever Hadrian's Wall used to be ages ago. We'll take over England one way or another. All of Britain will belong to the North Sea Empire like it did more than, I think, almost a thousand years ago at this point. Keep advancing, though. Glasgow has fallen. Take this port. And now let's create a united... Move on to London. Just advance straight to London. And push forward. Can we just... Those units are still stuck up north. Whatever. Get all of Army 3. Or do something here. Take this province. Take this province. These provinces. More divisions have been created. Give them the army five. Good. Or let's just get a new army just for these expeditionary troops. Move all of army four. Give them... Put them, I don't know, somewhere. Army five. Go to Scotland. Move in here. And just make sure you don't get out of where they are. All you gotta do. 
take this province here near the Scottish Highlands, take Edinburgh, 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 take everything, just capture it all for the North Sea Empire and the DNSAP. Keep the advance going, what can we do? We have political advisors we can get, captain of industry, that sounds good. So now, let's get our military. Army Group 1 is going to entirely focus, well, with the exception, I don't know. Get this order here for Army 3. Army, yeah, Army 3. Push all the way down to London and Dover. Win the war that way. Get it done. Also, let's justify on the USA. Can we, I don't know. We have the war goal still, or no, we don't. We're going to have to go through, oh yeah, we're going to have to go through the United States to get to the, Uni the United States of Vinland, don't we? Yes, yes we are. That's going to be fun. Whatever, keep moving into this area here, overwhelm any everything, just take the enemy out. Good, focus on kicking out what's left in Scotland. Good. They were not ready for this war at all, weren't they? They were not expecting it. Let's go ahead and justify in the USA, though. Get all this done, and we'll prepare to move. That'll take 10 days, wow. So we're prepared to move into against the USA soon enough. Our units are getting cut off by accident. Take Sheffield, capture it, capture everything. And Netherlands has capitulated. That was our ally, wasn't it? Or ne what happened there? They got hit with a naval invasion, or they changed. What happened? They didn't join a faction, that's why. Whatever, here's some units from France. Army 4, you're now going to go stop a French invasion. I mean a British invasion. Well, go guard the Netherlands. In the focus tree, let's now do... Colonial recruitment to get more non-core manpower recruitment. Well, more non-recruitable, well, non-core manpower for our divisions. This is a Romanian division. Go send them off somewhere. We're going to be ready to fight the USA in the near future. Good. Keep moving in. Overwhelm the enemy. And Netherlands has capitulated. That is so fat. What in the world is going on? They've just fell apart. Whatever. Take Dover. March on Dover. The, the UK is just really crumbling here already. They were not ready for this. And the Soviet Republic of Ukraine capitulated, whatever. Take Bristol, take Dover, take everything. Take Bristol, take Cornwall, take Plymouth, take Truro there, take Wrexham, Wrexham. We're probably gonna make, I don't know, I'm thinking about what our post-war borders are gonna be. Let's destroy these surrounded divisions, get them out of the picture, free military factories. I have too many military factories, honestly. I am gonna have to be careful about that. Take out Dover though, capture it. It's over. It's already over. So just pass, pass, pass. Take everything in Africa. Every single little thing. It's going to belong to us now. To the Danish. Clearly, yeah. I mean, we did most of the fighting anyway. Take all this, though. Capture it. We could go after... Honestly, we could go after the puppet this. Can we do that? Okay, puppet South Africa. In turn, pass again. Take the Netherlands. Puppet the take what can we do here puppet them or no what's the dutch east indies doing i wonder we're still at war with them technically i guess take all the uh, pass pass constantly do they have cores on that they don't so it's just satellite burma and let's satellite all of the british raj that'll be a puppet of the puppet of us now let's take ceylon Okay, that's all done at this point, so what else do we need to do? The Netherlands, Satellite, the Republic of Suriname. Suriname? Whatever, pass. Let's take their colony in South Africa, well, their position. Yeah, just take this here. Take all the stuff the UK has in the Americas, ultimately. We want all that for us. Good. And our plan here is just to get a foothold in the Americas once more so that we can push back the Americans and eventually Vinland, who is our puppet. Well, they were a subject of the UK, but they left. Well, I mean, they were subject of Denmark, but they left when the country went fascist. So, in turn, that's all done. What is left here? More islands. Let's puppet Wales. Puppet Northern Ireland. Ireland also. I'm thinking British Malaya. Do that. British Malaya can be independent, I'm thinking. Maybe. Yes. I think it would go along with everything else, so why not? Puppet that. And that's going to be a thing now. Take all these islands here in the Indian Ocean. It's going to belong to the North Sea Empire that's rapidly expanding at this point. We have that non-core manpower recruitment buff at this point, so I do need to use that. Take all this in Arabia. Good. We can use all this. And in turn, take Malta. Well, no, take Cyprus. Take Malta. And 
we're really making, we'd be making the Vikings go crazy if they were a liar at this point. So in turn, with all this stuff we're taking from overseas, what is left here? What is left? Satellite Northern Ireland, Satellite Wales. That's done now. Do we take all of Scotland? Maybe I'm considering it. Take all of this, though, or no. Let's take all of England. Satellite Scotland. Take all of England, for sure. Take all of England. We'll definitely do that. London's going to belong to the North Sea Empire now. And here we go. The Danelaw is back, effectively. Puppet. The Netherlands. Can we get that done? Puppet. Pass, pass, pass. Puppet. What's left here? Okay, yeah, they're going to be a puppet. United Kingdom. What do we have? Places in Africa. we got to control. Take Nigeria. Anything else? Take whatever's left. Take all states. Gibraltar, Pitcairn Island, Falkland Islands, Hong Kong, Fiji, Fiji, Gilbert Islands, Elise Island, Sierra Leone, Gambia, Ascension, St. Helena, Christmas Island, Cocos Island, South Georgia, Nauru, Andaman, all those islands there. What's left? The Dutch East Indies. Puppet them. And that's the peace conference. We're done. So now we get to fight the Americans. Oh boy. And this is the North Sea Empire at this point. It's pretty out there in terms of borders. And here we have Catal Caldania is back. We have Cambria. We have Ulster Nation over in Ireland. But let's get our units now. All, the whole entire army group of this country moved into position to fight the Americans. We have so many divisions. 59, that's not too bad. We're going to take on the Americans. We'll call on all of our allies also. These are some French, well, puppets, well, divisions from our puppets. Who's left here? Military factories, get more guns. We have so many guns. So many things we got to make. We get more artillery. More, I have too many factories. I really do. Make more planes. Close air support. We have close air support already. You don't need to do that. I'm glad we have so many resources now. We don't got to worry about nothing no more. Effectively. Let's not even trade for oil anymore. We don't need it. No more oil. We're done. We have plenty of oil. I think we do anyway. We should. You think we would. And that's done now. Actually, we need more oil, but not from them. Get some from our puppet, Romania. Thank you, Romania. You're so nice. Thank you. Also, the Dutch East Indies. I mean, Danish East Indies. Thank you. So, the, the Danish military is now moving into position across the Atlantic. But I got to move over the Atlantic to get there. Establish a new army here with Army 5. Also, what can we do for our commander, Field Marshal here, William... William Rain Pryor needs a trade, get him offensive doctrine. And for this army here, infantry expert, we rely, we, we rely heavily on infantry. Infantry expert, do all that. And also, what else do we need ultimately? Another commander needs infantry expert, I believe. That'd be good. And continue moving into our positions in New Brunswick. We have so many things we need to make. Make more, make some synthetic refineries. We need synthetic refineries. Just to get more oil, we don't got to rely on our puppets. Research slot available. I guess let's do, I don't know, do this here. Support weapons 3. Also, maybe get improved infantry equipment 2. Sounds good to me. Get our divisions ready for the push. Move all of our air force over to the UK, I mean the USA. Get them out of France. Come on now. Get the entire Danish air force ready to go fight the Americans who have a massive industrial base. Well, not as massive as it would be in this timeline. Well, as it would usually be because, I mean, it mostly is controlled by the... controlled by the... controlled by... well, part of it's controlled by the United States of Finland at this point. So let's get our army in position, though. We'll call on all of our allies also, just to make life even more painful for the Americans. Get the units here. Good. Get ready to go. And let's get ready to declare war. The United States demands transfer of American holdings. We already gave you the holdings. This gives you an idea of what we're fighting for, though. No, mind your own business. We'll fight you this time. We will fight you. This is why we're fighting you. Stop demanding transfer of territories. You're not in a position anymore. So let's go ahead and declare war. They can declare war on us if they want to. They have no faction, though. So our units are here. Good, let's start the advance, then. For, for the North Sea Empire, we, we fight. And all of our allies are here. The Axis is going to attack America. The USA is going to be attacked by so many countries. The 
the United States join the Allies. They're the major leader of the Allies at this point, I bet. So that's a thing. Push here. They're really not ready for this. They are not. Who is the major leader? Just the USA, Australia, and the US. Great. So the US is. The UK could potentially be an issue. So let's move all of our. I mean, the Australians could be an issue. Move every division we have to Papua. I guess Papua New Guinea would be the right word for it. Move divisions into place there. Request forces. Dutch East Indies, you got to help us here. You got to hold the line in that area. Some divisions from the. Who's this? This is the. I don't know what division. British Malaya? Oh, it's Danish Malaya. Thank you, Danish Malaya. We just need all the divisions we can to watch that area. And we'll keep the Australians and New Zealanders pinned down while we advance forward in the USA. We're going to probably also attack the United States of Finland while we're here. Keep moving forward. Overwhelm the enemy. They're going to be fighting our entire... Well, the Axis faction is crashing down into them. So they're going to have a problems possibly repelling that which is good for us. There's a naval invasion. It goes wrong, though. Take this position here. We'll take... We're moving into New England. The Empire needs men. Good. And we have non-core manpower even higher. The North Sea Empire needs men for the war effort. We will establish conscription for our colonial holdings. And we have tons of colonial holdings at this point, so we should be fine. And never has colonialism been so beneficial to Denmark at this point, it seems. And a Danish Foreign Legion. Get that done. What else? Build more stuff. Build military factories or something. We're building tons of refineries for fuel purposes. Advance forward, though. And where is our allies at? They're doing so they're doing something. And how is the Australians faring? Are they attacking yet? They aren't. Let's take all of Papa, then take this entire Australian territory here. It's not even a core for them, so I think we could get away with taking it while they're not looking. Just advance when possible with that army which is made up entirely of puppet divisions. Well, divisions from the puppets of the North Sea Empire. Keep advancing, overwhelm the enemy. Can we go ahead and attack the United States of Finland? I may want to do that. Oh, great, now they're moving from behind. That's not good. They're gonna go for a port, aren't they? They are. Okay, so, what do we do? What do we do? Get these units here, guard this area, guard this area, get more. I guess militia, well no, defensive garrison troops put together, please, we need them, desperately, I mean desperately too, because we just need them in the field to just stop the Americans from taking all of, move this division here just as a stopgap, just hold back the enemy here, a couple of divisions, until we can get more units over here, more divisions are ready, send them over to Australia, that's going to be done. And I'm really hoping the Americans don't take any ports in Nova Scotia, because if they do, we don't need to get cut off from supplies. Let's let's justify in Vinland now. Get that done. Justify on them. That'll take some time. Get away from my ports, please. Stop it. Hold this line down. Hold this line down. What are you doing? Go back. Just defend this, please. We need to capture Boston. It is critical. It is imperative we capture Boston before we have supply issues. They're trying to cut us off, aren't they? They are, in fact, doing that. Stop it. Why'd you take a port? Why do you need the port? Very sneaky move there, but we'll deal with that by kicking you out for now. Just drive them back. Take the port. It's not that hard. Take the port they captured in New Brunswick. So just the, the offensive has halted because they took a port. Of course. So that's great. We need more. We need those garrison troops badly here at this point. Take this area here. Take the port. Take the port. Take the port. Get to the port. The offensive has entirely stalled because of that naval invasion from behind. Prevent them from landing more troops, please. Take Boston. Take Boston. Are they moving in? Oh, great. They have troops at the port now. Come on. Reconnect with Halifax at the very least. Get the Halifax from New Brunswick. Move more units around. Shuffle the entire army back here. Bring the entirety of Army 5 to this area back here. And... Get rid of these American divisions in our rear. Why do they have the land and naval invasion here? Come on. And I think I'm going to end what is part two of my fascist Denmark playthrough in Legacy of the North Sea here. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. You can check out Legacy of the North Sea in the video description.